Hi, Ed Vogt here from EAR, Professional Audio Video, and welcome to a special presentation on the Panasonic HPX300 camera. If you've been in the professional audio or video world for the past few years, you're probably familiar with its predecessor, the HPX200. And we're going to spend just two minutes of your time to cover the differences between these two cameras. So let's jump right into it. The HPX300 camera as a comparison with the HVX200 Panasonic camera. Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the uh, previous models by Panasonic for HD uh, camcorders. This is an HPX170. It looks very much the same as the HVX200. Uh, I'll just call it the 170 for the sake of uh, tongue twisting here. Uh, the 170 compared to the 200 looks very much the same. It's a little smaller. However, it does not have the tape transport that would normally be here on the 200 model. It is P2 media only and also has a, an improved imager and menuing system. Uh, it's very much the same camera that the 200 is, but kind of a, a facelift to it, a little better looking both uh, in terms of imaging as well as menuing and capabilities. So um, let's compare this to the HPX300 now. Okay, here we are with the uh, new H. PX300. Again, I'll just call it the 300 for the sake of, of ease. Uh, the 300 is at a different price point, um, roughly about $8,500. $8,450 is the suggested uh, map price. Retail on it is $10,700. It includes the viewfinder, which is a new color viewfinder, high resolution. Um, it comes with a lens. This is a Fujinon lens, 17 to 1. And unlike the 200 and 170, this is detachable. So uh, you can use additional lensing on it for special project applications. But the base price includes the lens portion here as well as the body. It is P2 media only, so uh, as in difference to the 200, which had a tape transport for standard definition DV, this is a high definition camera. Uh, it will also record in standard definition as well to the P2 media. And it has a new form of codec called AVC Intra. And AVC is a, a step up from the previous generation of digital uh, encoding codecs. Uh, Panasonic has been using their HVX, or excuse me, the uh, DVC Pro HD, which is in both the 200 camera and the 170. This camera, the 300, has DVC Pro HD as well, but also AVC, which is kind of a, a new derivative of MPEG-4. The bottom line is it uses half the amount of space for the same look, or you can use it at the higher resolution and actually exceed uh, DVC Pro HD specifications. So it's a very, very good camera uh, from an aesthetic standpoint. Let's talk a little bit about the lensing here. This is a one-third inch lens, and it is provided with the camera again. It's made by Fujinon, but as time goes on, you'll see additional lenses available by both Canon and Fuji. Uh, the body section itself has a similar menuing system to the 200 and 170 in that it's manufactured at the same Panasonic plant. You'll notice that the AG part number at the beginning of this camera it matches the AG part number on the 200 and 170. They're all manufactured at the same place in Japan. So engineering wise, it's a very um, similar camera made by the same uh, group of engineers at Panasonic. That's a wrap. Thanks again for joining us for this special presentation for the HPX 300 camera. My name is Ed Vogt with EAR, and I should mention that we have thousands of other products for the working professional audio and video person, and would love an opportunity to help you with any of those. In fact, you can reach us 24 hours per day on the web as EAR.net, or give us a call at 800-473-6914. We'll see you again next time, and thanks again for joining us.